Hello, and welcome back to another episode of our Sassy in 5 series. I'm your host, Ryan Livesey with Ariaka Networks. Today, I want to talk about some common pitfalls to watch out for when implementing Sassy. In the last episode, we talked about Sassy being a journey with different buyers at different points in that journey. One thing we all must understand is Sassy is not something you buy. There's no single SKU from any vendor, but rather Sassy is a framework, a framework of networking and security solutions that when implemented correctly, can drastically improve security posture and user experience regardless of where that knowledge worker sits, whether they're in the home, on the road, or in an office. As these SASE solutions are explored and implemented globally and the feedback is gathered across the industry, we begin to see common trends or challenges that arise. What's come to light because of all of these discussions is that there appears to be four common pitfalls to watch out for. Problem number one, over-indexing on security to the detriment of networking. We all agree security is critical, it's non-negotiable. Terms like ZTNA arise to highlight the importance of security at all costs. Preventing fraudulent access to applications and data is a must. As applications continue to shift from corporate data centers to the cloud, this workload shift introduces additional cloud security requirements, challenging security teams more than ever before. Remember the day of the data centers aren't done either. Gartner claims 90% of enterprises will operate hybrid environments with both physical data centers and all of those security requirements in addition to securing SaaS and IaaS. With all this application evolution, is there ever an example of too much security complexity? The analysts believe so. Implementing very complex security policies and layering in more protection between the users and the workloads can come at a cost. Companies are finding the resulting latency issues that arise from complex security policies can have a huge impact on application performance and worker efficiency. Real world examples of this can be seen with large ERP platforms. Platforms like SAP and Oracle, they're the lifeline of enterprises and performance degradation of these systems are as non-negotiable as the security itself. So it begs the question, is there a way to implement zero trust without impacting performance? We'll discuss this more later. Problem number two, lack of integration between security and networking functionality. Buying best of breed is a commonly accepted approach. Your industry leaders in Secure Web Gateway, CASB, DLP, next-gen firewall technologies. While this may get you standalone functionality, stitching all of these disjointed solutions together will come at a cost. A people cost, a time cost, a performance cost. One point many security engineers don't think about is the data plane. Is security enforcement within a single data plane more efficient than requiring handshakes between third-party stitch solutions? The answer is yes, and Dell Oro discusses the difference between hybrid and unified SASE. Integrating these third-party solutions could certainly cost you more than you think, but more importantly, it slows you down with the integration required. Fully integrated solutions simply work better. They're faster, cheaper, and they enable your business to be more agile. Problem number three, complex configuration and lack of control. What do I mean by this? Your, your end goal is to configure and deploy fast to ensure policies are easily managed and maintained. Administrators won't be able to want to be able to scale fast. New employees, new locations, new businesses acquired, divested, scale up, scale down as the business demands. The more complex your policy management is, the harder the agility becomes. The more complex, more likely you'll want to outsource to specialists. However, if you do this, you're going to lose control. You don't want this to happen. It's almost like driving a Tesla. Sure, the car can drive itself, but you want override capabilities in the event of emergency? It's time to simplify this complex world. And while utilizing managed services is certainly valuable, you want ultimate control for your organization. Security administrators aren't the only people to consider regaining that control. Net network operators are also key to monitoring and troubleshooting performance. So lack of observability and difficulty in troubleshooting are associated problems that prevent you from delivering the business what it needs. Problem number four, too much focus on last mile. Not enough focus on the middle mile and multi-cloud compute edges. The starting position is always the end user. Is the end user allowed access? What sites is that end user allowed to visit? Security in the end user is important, but so is securing the application at the cloud edge. The closer the security to the application, the less risk of having someone compromise that application. Therefore, what happens in the middle mile and what happens at the cloud edge matters as well. It's like locking your doors, but keeping the windows open at night. Security risks are minimized when you protect all three areas equally. More and more customers and analysts are agreeing. It boils down to simplicity. Consolidate your vendors, minimize your third-party integrations, balance performance and security requirements equally, and lock down applications as close to the edge as possible. Sounds perfect, but is it possible? Well, yes, it is. But one needs to adopt a different approach. What architecture works? At Ariaka, 
We've adopted something called single pass architecture, which I'll explain in more detail later as we progress along this SASE journey. But first, we need to understand the difference between hybrid and unified SASE. So please join me in the next episode where we'll investigate the pros and cons of each. Thanks for watching.